Imagine you're assembling the world's most intricate jigsaw puzzle, but every time you blink, a piece jumps ship. Welcome to SpaceX's Heat Shield Fiasco. In today's episode, we're orbiting around the Starship's mystery behind the fallout of Heat Shield, where Heat Shields seem to have a mind of their own. As we gear up for the much-anticipated Flight 4, the stakes are sky-high and so is the temperature gauge. Will the Starship's TPS hold up? Or will it be back to the drawing board? Buckle up as we launch into a story of perseverance, engineering marvels. Buckle up as we launch into a story of perseverance, engineering marvels, and a dash of space grade duct tape. It's not just rocket science, it's SpaceX science, and it's as thrilling as a supernova explosion minus the space debris. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has recently completed its third test flight of the Starship spacecraft and is gearing up for another. The upcoming mission's focus is on mastering the intense heat of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. In this update, we'll explore SpaceX's innovative approach to this challenge and how Starship aims to transport us to new worlds. Elon Musk recently announced that Starship, weighing a massive 5,000 tons, is the heaviest object to ever take flight. It's designed to be the first spacecraft to enable humans to live on other planets and boasts a thrust greater than the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. The primary objective for Starship's next mission is to withstand the scorching temperatures encountered during re-entry. This is a critical phase where the spacecraft must survive the friction-generated heat as it plunges back into Earth's atmosphere at high speeds. Starship is a robust launch vehicle capable of carrying up to 100 passengers for long-duration spaceflights. It's also envisioned for rapid Earth transport, deploying satellites, and building a base on the Moon. In its third test flight, Starship achieved orbital velocity for the first time and attempted re-entry. However, during this phase, contact was lost with the craft due to the intense conditions. SpaceX has also successfully tested all six Raptor engines, signaling readiness for the next flight, expected in early May. So, how will Starship endure the fiery re-entry? Elon Musk explains that the key lies in the spacecraft's design and power. In 2019, SpaceX began integrating Tesla Model SX battery packs with a total capacity of 400 kilowatt hours into Starship's nose section. These batteries power the large control surfaces, two aft wings, and two forward canards that are crucial for maintaining stability during re-entry and landing. The spacecraft's computers will continuously adjust these surfaces to ensure a stable descent. Creating a thermal shield for spacecraft re-entry is a complex task. Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, has highlighted that developing a lightweight, reusable, and reliable heat shield is one of the most significant challenges for the Starship project. The team is making progress step by step, starting with the heat shield tiles. At first glance, the new heat shield tiles may look identical to the old ones, but the real change lies in the adhesive used to attach them to Starship's body. While specific details about the new adhesive aren't public, it's evident from the color change from blue to red that an upgrade has been made. Besides glue, metal pins are also used to secure the plates, particularly the standard size thinner ones. The thicker tiles found on critical areas like the wing edges and nose cone are glued to provide better insulation and weight management. Under the thinner tiles, a white ceramic mat adds another layer of insulation, helping to keep the heat from reaching the spacecraft's hull. This mat isn't found where glue is used because it would interfere with the tile's bond to the spacecraft. The choice to use both glue and metal pins is strategic. The nose cone and wing edges are vital for Starship's aerodynamics, thermal protection, and performance during atmospheric re-entry. Using metal pins could negatively affect the aerodynamics, while glue offers a smoother surface, reducing drag and optimizing performance. The glue also spreads the heat more evenly, enhancing the thermal protection during re-entry and preventing hot gases from seeping through. However, using glue across the entire spacecraft isn't practical. It would be time-consuming, could lead to serviceability issues due to cracking, and would require additional fuel for the cooling system, increasing the mass of the spacecraft. 
SpaceX has taken inspiration from the space shuttle's heat shield tiles, which were revolutionary in the 1970s but have their share of issues. These tiles were extremely porous and light, making them difficult to attach securely to the spacecraft. Unlike the space shuttle, which used a silicone adhesive and a felt layer for tile attachment, SpaceX has opted for a different method. SpaceX's approach involves using smooth metal pins to attach the tiles, which differs from NASA's traditional adhesive method. The pins provide a smaller surface area for attachment, raising questions about the tiles' ability to maintain strength, especially since holes must be made in the tiles for the pins. Despite the challenges faced by the Space Shuttle's tiles, which often fell off post-mission, SpaceX's method aims to improve upon the past. The company's innovative heat shield design is crucial for the Starship's re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, where it must withstand extreme temperatures. SpaceX's Starship has taken significant strides in thermal protection, building upon NASA's Space Shuttle technology and enhancing it. Starship's Thermal Protection System, or TPS, is designed for rapid reusability, which means it can quickly land, undergo inspections, and be relaunched. This necessitates a highly reliable and insulating heat shield that doesn't require extensive repairs after each mission. The heat shield tiles, which are black in color, might seem counterintuitive since white or reflective coatings are known to deflect heat. However, the black tiles aren't meant to reflect light from the sun. Instead, they're designed to handle the intense heat generated by the plasma shockwave created when the spacecraft re-enters the Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. The temperatures can soar up to 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 1,260 degrees Celsius. The black appearance of the space shuttle's tiles is due to a coating of borosilicate glass which has a low thermal expansion coefficient, making it ideal for withstanding high temperatures. The white tiles, located in less heat-intensive areas, provide optimal thermal properties while in orbit. While the space shuttle's heat shield had its challenges, particularly with tile adhesive, SpaceX aims to improve upon these issues with Starship's TPS. The goal is to create a system that's not only effective in protecting against extreme heat, but also durable and maintainable for the spacecraft's ambitious mission profile. The space shuttle was a pioneering spacecraft, but it faced challenges with its thermal protection system. The delicate heat shield tiles required extensive inspections and repairs after each mission, which was a setback for NASA's goal of rapid reusability. This experience has been a valuable lesson for newer spacecraft designs like SpaceX's Starship and Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. Unlike the space shuttle, which was attached to the side of the fuel tank, exposing it to a falling debris, Starship is designed differently. Its upper stage is mounted above the lower stage, reducing the risk of damage from falling ice or foam. This design choice simplifies the thermal protection system as Starship uses only two main types of heat shield tiles known as star bricks, which come in two thicknesses. Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, made a significant material change by opting for stainless steel over carbon fiber for Starship's construction. This switch offers several benefits. Durability. Stainless steel is less affected by small gaps between tiles, allowing for greater tolerances during installation and inspection. Heat resistance. It can withstand higher temperatures without losing strength, making the spacecraft more resilient to heat. Cost effectiveness. Stainless steel is cheaper than carbon fiber, facilitating easier production and modifications during the prototype phase. SpaceX's innovative heat shield design has been tested successfully with tiles enduring temperatures up to 2,510 degrees Fahrenheit. This robust protection is crucial for Starship's mission to enable rapid reusability with minimal refurbishment, a key step towards sustainable deep space exploration. With these advancements, Starship is poised to overcome the challenges faced by the space shuttle, paving the way for a new era of space travel that's safer, more efficient, and more cost-effective. What are your thoughts on this thermal protection system? Will it work, or will it disintegrate like the trial a month before? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with more space enthusiasts. 
We'll be back with more exciting news about space travel soon.